Net News is sponsored by IBM Solutions for a Small Planet. Some of the net's biggest junk emailers are considering a ceasefire thanks to backbone internet service provider Aegis. That provider gives internet access to most of the net's spammers. Now Aegis is ordering bulk mailer cyber promotions and others to stop spamming unwilling netizens. Or Aegis will kick the spammers off its service. According to the new rules, spammers must filter out the names of people who don't want spam from bulk mail lists. The way your personal information is shared online could soon change. The World Wide Web Consortium, a group that helps set net standards, is working on a way for netizens to customize and control their own online personal profiles. It's called the Open Profiling Standard. Netizens create a profile on a hard disk drive and then release it online at their discretion. You could then log on to websites without filling out lengthy registrations and have control over where your personal information goes. The plan could take up to three years to implement. The nation's internet companies are voicing concern over who will be the FCC's new chairperson. Reed Hunt, the man who ushered the Federal Communications Commission into the new information age, has stepped down. He is the first FCC chair ever to log on to the net and is responsible for the commission's recent decision to bring all the nation's schools online with a $2 billion grant. Internet companies and associations are hoping the FCC's new chairperson will have the same appreciation for internet issues. Hunt will continue as chairman until President Clinton appoints his successor. If you're a major movie buff, you'll welcome a new comprehensive film site called MovieFinder.com. It launches this week with locator listings for movies on television, in theaters, rental shops, and stores across the country. With it, you can search new, recent, and upcoming theater and video titles, current and upcoming TV movies, plus tap movie news and stats. Also available are video clips, plot summaries, and movie reviews from Movie Finder's sister site, eOnline. eOnline is a partner of CNET. And head to CNETsNews.com for all the latest news from the digital world. That's our news for now. Thanks, Richard. You know, in this rapidly changing digital world, new terms appear constantly. So each week we answer your most frequently asked questions or facts. And here to give us the latest is our own Sophie Formica. Hey there, Sophie. Hey, Gina. Thanks very much. Well, we all know what it's like to have a heated argument, but what if the argument takes place over the Internet? That's what this week's Fact File is all about. Jessica Michelson from Phoenix, Arizona asks, what is a flame? Well, Jessica, a flame is a term that refers to an insult or the use of profanity online. Most often these heated comments are sent to another person via email or are used in an online chat or posting forum. But sending a flame is considered a breach of online etiquette or netiquette when it comes to the online world. So a few words of caution. Watch your language online as you would in a face-to-face -face conversation. Sometimes it gets easy to get carried away when you're typing furiously at your keyboard. Now if there are any other words or phrases about computing that you need some help with, send me an email at thefactfile at cnet.com or through regular mail to the fact file 150 Chestnut Street, San Francisco, California 94111. Also, if you head on over to CNET.com, we do post a more detailed answer to each week's question, as well as those fact file addresses if you didn't have a chance to write them down. Coming up next, there are a lot of different radio signals out there, and Desmond is going to show us how to pick up every one of them with your computer. And if The Lost World, the movie, wasn't enough for you, we have a perfect solution coming up next. Domain. The best of the web is brought to you by MCI One. Life just got simpler. Grab your clubs and your racket because we're going to play a little golf and tennis in cyberspace for our picks in this week's Best of the Web. First, we drive over to the Global Golf Guide. At this site, you'll find hundreds of hyperlinks to the world's best golf links, from Doral's Blue Monster to the famous Spyglass Hill. Check out summaries and photos of all of your favorites. And this site is packed with multimedia. There's QuickTime movie flybys along with the virtual reality walkthroughs. If you want to scope out some of the best courses to play in the world, this site can't be missed. And to play with the best golfer in the world, we swing over to GolfWeb.com. Now you can keep up with Tiger Mania at his home in cyberspace. Visit the multimedia gallery for photos of his master's victory or click on Tiger Talk for a little chatting. There's also tour stats, scorecards, and news of his upcoming tournaments. Now, if you'd rather get the scoop on some tennis tournaments, then check out the ATP Tour online. This site serves up all the latest happenings on the men's tennis circuit. Follow your favorites from Andre Agassi to Pete Sampras as they go for the Grand Slam. 
You'll also find player stats, photos, and tour rankings. And don't forget to visit the Pro Shop for official tour caps, sweats, and t-shirts. For more Best of the Web, hop over to CNET.com. This week's feature also includes a look at Runner's World and the women's tennis circuit.